Hello from Tokyo! Today I'm going to try a Dutch pour which I've only done twice or three times about a year ago. So I'm going to give it a go using very thin paint. This is titanium white and I have mixed it with I think 40% uh, water and 60% paint. The light gold was a bit thick so I added 50% water to this but the rest is 60% paint, 40% water. This is Prussian blue thalo and this is turquoise green. This is thalo blue and primary magenta and there's a light gold there and the base is titanium white so it's my usual favorite colors. I'm going to layer with the thalo blue in between the turquoise and the magenta and this is how thin the base paint is. The colors are also of the same thin consistency as you can see with the gold here. I'm only going to put down a thin layer of the base paint because I'll be putting so much paint on top of this. Okay, here we go with adding the colors down. I'm not sure why I'm doing a spiral there. So that was Prussian blue, then the turquoise, then the phthalo blue, and then some magenta, and then the gold. Put quite a bit of gold there. And then I'm going to put this white all around like I've seen everybody do. But I'm still not sure if this is the right thing to do or not. <laughs> but I'm just having a go. It looks like I have way too much paint on there. And here we go with the hair dryer. It's on the lowest setting, lowest cool setting. So it's not blowing very much. And I'm really nervous here. I'm terribly nervous when I'm doing something new. Um, so as it's not blowing out, I'm going to actually change the setting of the hair dryer. Okay, here I changed to a higher setting on the blow dryer and look, it really explodes that way. And I'm going to try and bring some back towards me, but only a tiny bit comes up. But I quite like that. It's quite faded, <laughs> a tiny bit. I think the trickiest thing with this technique is learning about your own hair dryer, you know, the size of your hair dryer, its strength or lack of strength, depending on the setting. And um, here, I feel like I've blown it out far too much on the one side. So I'll be playing around with that. I found a bit of a lump in the center there, so I'm just going to blow it out and give it a little swirl for now and I'll go back to that later. Taking some parts off with a popsicle stick and adding some white to try and reduce the amount of color, but also adding some primary magenta because I lost, I lost all of it actually. I, you know, if you look really closely, there's some that's turned into purple, which is really pretty, but I'm just adding a little bit there The great thing about this technique is that because the paint's so thin in consistency, it's really easy to scrape bits off and add some more of that base paint color. If you blow the colors over the base paint that you just added, it kind of softens it and makes it look a little bit more naturally flowy. A little bit of the magenta came through there, but it's kind of looking like orange. It's interesting. So I'm torching out some air bubbles and then I'm going to do a little tiny bit more of blowing out. And then we'll have a look at the initial wet finish because I do mess around with it a little bit afterwards. But this is the initial wet finish. Well, it's certainly super blue. A lot of the blue was winning compared to the magenta, but there's a lot of gold in the center too. Look at that color though, the way it's blended. I really, really am loving this kind of orangey color that was created. And that's the part I will be fixing in the center. And the blues are pretty though. I do love the phthalo blue. These, these, this is the area that I'm um, added more of the base paint 
and then added the primary magenta oh i love the light purple coming through and the prussian blue as well this is really pretty there Honestly though, hats off to everyone who can do Dutch pour as well. I know this is my fourth go and it's my first time in over a year, but still, 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 you know, I think it was going to take me a lot of practice to get somewhere. I'm just pointing to where the blues blew out softly. I like that part a lot. And here I am going to show you where I played around a bit where I brought some of the white in from the sides and made a little spiral in the center. It kind of looks like an eye, but it also looks like the, the center of a storm. Not sure, <laughs> but I still play around with this. It gets a little bit dark outside, so I have to put my light on. So I'm sorry about it looking a bit different lighting wise here, but yeah, I swirled some gold through there just put some dots of gold and then got a uh, toothpick or maybe it was a dotting tool and circled around but in this light you can see how the gold is shimmering through the blue which is really pretty like there you know which i couldn't show in the natural light before so this is cool so we'll have a look in a moment when this all dries Let's have a look at the dried finish. I feel like the colors are brighter or bolder and it could be because I'm mixing this with only water and no um, other medium. But the colors are really pretty and I love how the gold is kind of infiltrated into the blue and this white part as well, Ooh, really pretty. I like the additional gold there. I think it was too white before. I wish I'd been a bit braver and added some more primary magenta to different places afterwards, but I was a little bit nervous about it, so. <laughs> the gold is really, really shiny, so I'm gonna show you by tilting it just now. I also see a bird in this orientation and in this orientation. <laughs> it's quite fun. And that one definitely looks like an eyeball there. So you know what these colors kind of merge together a lot? I think I was just using too much paint. Um, so I actually did have another go at this um, over here and I ended up using even more paint by accident. So. I added stuff and embellished with florals, um, but anyway, I haven't recorded this one, so that was an experiment after this one. My favorite parts, I think, for this is the added magenta and also the wispy Prussian blue here. It was pretty hard to do the Dutch pour, and I will give it a couple more tries before going to a different technique. I think I'll go back to florals for a bit. But um, yes, what did you think? I hope you enjoyed the video today and are also enjoying experimenting with fluid art. Thank you so much for watching today and see you in the next one. Bye.